I had to ask myself, how did this happen? Recognizing long-term public service is the job of your representative. At the end of last session, Delegate Webert co-sponsored a joint resolution commending the retiring sheriff of Warren County. Now, under normal circumstances, I would do the same thing. However, given the current political dumpster fire happening in Warren County, Delegate Webert clearly shows that he is not doing his job. He commended a person who is now being investigated for stealing $17.6 million from Warren County taxpayers. Best case scenario, Webber is just oblivious to what's going on in his backyard. It's hard to fathom, but this story reads like a Netflix thriller. It's like our very own House of Cards. It's complete with corruption between almost all branches of local government in Warren County, gambling, prostitution, and shady real estate dealings. Everyone in Warren County and all of District 18 should hear this and be very concerned. This month, a special grand jury was formed to investigate potential financial wrongdoings within the town, county, schools, economic development agency, and Warren County Sheriff's Office. There is a civil case alleging that $17.6 million was stolen from Warren County taxpayers by Sheriff McEthron, by Jennifer McDonald, the former uh, Director of Economic Development, and seven others. Not to mention, Front Royal's Mayor, Hollis Tharp, is stepping down May 2nd because he's being indicted for soliciting a prostitute. I don't know about you, but when I heard about this, I had to ask myself, how did this happen? This is a total lack of oversight paired with corruption and the good old boy network. Where are our elected officials in protecting the taxpayers? We are facing a crisis of leadership. What is Weber's response to all this? A commendation. How out of touch can you be? It seems to me we need leaders who actually know what's going on and are interested enough to find out. I'm Tristan Shields. I'm a rural Democrat running for delegate in District 18. Vote for me on June 11th and on November 5th, and I guarantee you, I will work tirelessly to really understand what is happening in District 18 and take the appropriate action to protect you and your tax dollars.